Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about pregnancy and COVID-19. So let's go ahead and get started. So if you are currently pregnant or just found out you're pregnant, I just wanted to make this video to just kind of give insight of what my experience has been, like what my first doctor's appointment looks like, what they currently look like, and just kind of overall like how I'm feeling and how I'm dealing with everything. So for starters, I live in Texas, so our restrictions I feel like lifted a little bit earlier than some other states. As far as how that pertains to having a baby, it didn't really change anything. So when you go into your first doctor's appointment, I noticed that they immediately wanted you to have a mask on when you arrived. And so then when you got to the door, they would ask you a series of questions. Basically, if you have had any symptoms um, that correlate with COVID, and if you have a fever, and actually, um, they just started in my last appointment. For those of you who don't know, I am 19 weeks, and my last appointment, they actually started taking temperatures at the door. So I'm assuming if you had a temperature, there would be an additional precaution or something like that. So yeah, so you, you have to have your mask on when you get to the door. They ask you a series of questions. They'll take your temperature and then they will send you up wherever you need to go, where your appointment's at in the building. When you walk into the office, literally all of the seats are taped off except for three of them and they're on like very opposite sides of the waiting room. Um, everyone's wearing masks, um, the receptionists, doctors, nurses, everyone's wearing masks and you have to keep yours on the whole time. And then after that, everything's pretty normal. Like you get go back into the room and they check you out and that's that. But the big difference in all of that is you're the only one who can go in there. So with my first pregnancy, you know, I got to have my husband in there. We got to experience the heartbeat together the first time hearing that the anatomy scan, all of that. It's super exciting. And this time around, we didn't get to have that experience. So I think my heart just breaks for everyone that th if this is your first pregnancy and you don't get to experience all of those firsts with your partner, like just know that my heart breaks for you and I can't imagine. It's hard definitely with the second pregnancy, but I'm also thankful just to be able to have you know, a doctor that will see me right now with everything going on and, you know, we have a healthy baby and at the end of the day, that's really what matters. But yeah, it's still hard not having him in there and fortunately, my doctor it will allow us to record like little snippets of like the heartbeat and ultrasounds and stuff like that that I can share with my husband after the appointment. So it's not the same, but at least he gets to be there kind of with the video. Another thing that goes along with that is I can't have my toddler with me. And for those of you who don't know, we just moved to Texas and we literally have like no friends, and no family, no nothing. We moved here right in the like peak of the pandemic. So we haven't been able to really just connect with anyone through like church or anything like that. So I had no one to watch my daughter for my like first few appointments and luckily my husband hadn't started his job yet so he was able to take care of her and now it's a little bit harder because we have to schedule appointments around when he gets off work so we can meet in the parking lot at the doctor's and you know switch car seats over and then he'll take her and then I'll do the appointment and you know in hindsight it's really not that big of a deal um, but again, if it's your first pregnancy, like I can't stress enough how hard it must be. And I feel like another thing I wanted to talk about, sorry if this is all over the place, but the biggest thing that triggered like me wanting to do this video was because one, I was getting a ton of questions from like family and friends, like, hey, what's it like? Do you, you have to wear a mask the whole time? Are you gonna have to wear a mask when you give birth? And I just got so many questions. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do a video on it because if people are asking me, people out there are probably wondering the same thing. So I thought I'd give some information if you are new to being pregnant and haven't gone to your first appointment or if you just want to send your family and friends to a video to inform you a little bit more on what to expect while pregnant with COVID. So another big thing I wanted to touch on and kind of what's like spurred me to do this video was I saw this post on Instagram and this girl was saying how someone had told her like, thank God you're not pregnant right now with COVID going on and all of that. 
And I think that, and, and her caption ended up talking about how she was seven weeks pregnant and no one had known yet and that they had been battling infer infertility for like years and they finally got pregnant and now they got like this label put on them like okay it's the COVID-19 is going on like why would you be trying to have a baby and that just like really hit home for me because we didn't have we didn't have any infertility issues but I do think that there is a lot of like jokes and you know stigmas out there about pregnancy during COVID-19 and I think I don't think it's fair for us to just kind of judge a situation just based off a pandemic because we don't know what people are going through and I think there's a lot of unknown that comes with COVID-19 and this pandemic no one knows how long it's going to last no one you know no one really knows and putting your life on hold you know some people don't want to do that. They want to start a family and have kids and that's okay. You know, like as long as you're taking the precautions that you're supposed to. And at the end of the day, for us, like we wanted to have another baby after our daughter turned one, we were going to start trying to have a baby. And I just truly full heartedly believe that if we weren't meant to have a kid, we wouldn't have gotten pregnant. Like the Lord provides and if we were not meant to have a kid, I don't we wouldn't be pregnant right now and that was just something that was on my mind and just kind of triggered wanting me to do this video so I just wanted to touch on that because I think with everything going on people think it's irresponsible to get pregnant right now and have a kid right now and you know you're not allowed to complain about the restrictions that go along with like the doctor's office if you're pregnant because you chose that and I just want you to know if you are pregnant that you know you're allowed to have these feelings and I don't think you should have to put your life on hold just because of a pandemic. So another thing is as of right now, we cannot tour where we are giving birth. We haven't even gone to the facility. We are being seen at a clinic that is on the other side of the city actually. So we as of right now aren't going to be able to tour it before we have our baby um so that that kind of bummed me out because i'm one of those people where it's like i visually want to see okay that's where i'm going to be and i'm going to be giving birth here and you know in the heat of the moment you don't really care where you're at you just want to have this baby and so i'm probably going to be that way um once the time comes but you know that's just something i know we looked forward to with our first pregnancy was just getting to tour the facility and the birthing you know sweets and everything like that so that's another thing i'm kind of bummed about and then as far as giving birth i am due at the end of january so again this could totally change by this time but as of right now um when i go into labor my husband has to drop me off at the front and i have to wear a mask and i will go in and i will check in and then go upstairs and they will check me to see you know if they're going to admit me and all of that and then once i'm admitted and put into a room then my husband's allowed to come up and i do have to wear a mask when the doctor is in the room so as of right now that's the protocol again it could totally change but i have heard <laughs> of people that have to like wear a mask when they push and I'm just thankful that I don't have to do that but my heart again goes out to anybody that does have to do that I cannot imagine being in labor and having to push with a mask on so my only kind of advice would be just stay educated and ask questions when you're at the doctors it's okay you know like I was in there and I had asked like okay well what if I get COVID is like my baby gonna get COVID and I mean these are just real and honest questions especially like I said I've heard crazy crazy stories and they will definitely put fear in you and I think being pregnant and just going through this experience in the first place is just such a crazy time in your life especially if it's your first and um, having a pandemic and having to worry about you know all these restrictions as well on top of that can be really overwhelming so I just kind of wanted to talk about like where my heart was at and you know some struggles that I've been dealing with as well as just kind of what to expect when you go into the doctors at least in my state that's what protocol is right now if you're pregnant right now comment down below let me know if this was helpful um, if you have any other like kind of tips and tricks that you want to add from your experience so far and also if you just had a baby comment that down below as well congrats ahead of time but comment down below let us know what your experience was like and if you have any words of encouragement because at the end of the day we all really just need to be encouraged all right everyone thanks for watching bye